Welcome to Big Book System, the best online platform for engineering and architectural tutorial. For this class, I'm going to be discussing about how you can export AutoCAD drawing into Revit architectures applications or any other Revit such as Revit structures or Revit MEP. Please always like and subscribe to our YouTube channels because this helps us a lot. It's a useful tool that helps us in creating daily tutorial. Thank you. Let me launch my AutoCAD application. That's where we're going to start from. So yeah, I'm going to call up my AutoCAD. Yeah, I have my AutoCAD already open. Here's a drawing. I've succeeded in extracting one of the drawing out of the entire drawing that I have here. If you look at this place, I have a bunch of drawings. So I just had to copy this aspect out. If you don't know how to do that, you can just check for my tutorial. Open my YouTube channel and check for my tutorial on how you can specially copy a single drawing out of an entire project. So that is that about that. I have this drawing out. I want to export this drawing to my Revit. My every Revit is already loaded. So what am I going to do? It's a very simple technique. All I just need to do is to make sure that I save this drawing. Come to this place and set save. It asks me for a name. I can call it. Um, I want to save it on desktop. And then I can call it um, Lagos. Metro. Let's have it like that. Then I will say save. Mind you, if I should save this, it is not going to open in my Revit. And I know my reasons. Now check my file type. I'm saving AutoCAD 2018 drawing because I'm using AutoCAD 2020 versions, which is the latest versions currently now. So I'm going to say save. Wait for some few moments and there it's saved. Now I will launch my Revit applications. Here's my Revit. It's still empty, nothing inside. So I'll go to from architect to structure down to insert. On insert, I have link and I have import. I have a video class that specially discusses about link and import, the difference and similarity between link and import. But that's not the class for today. I just want to focus on import. So I'll click on import card here. When I click on import card here, I'm going to go to desktop. And I expect to locate my drawing, which is Lagos Metro. And I'll select that. I will select that. You can see that I have my prevail here. And I'm going to say open. Wait for some few moments. I said not responding. Of course, it's going to respond. Just need some few seconds to load the drawing. So, that is just a simple technique on how you can import AutoCAD drawing into Revit. Now you can see it said some elements we are lost during import. Active X and some priority, priority uh, uh, proprietary components cannot be imported. Never mind this language. Just simple things. Import detect no valid elements. You want to import paper size. There is no need because since this cannot be imported, no need for that. Now, this is what I'm going to do. The only reasons why this drawing did not import is because i'm using autocad 2020 and i'm saving it with autocad 2018 meanwhile my revit you can see that my revit is 2015 so the autocad version is higher than the revit version that i'm importing into so i would go back to my autocad and here i'll say it save as 
because I've already saved and there is no any modification in the drawing so there is no need for me to save again so now my Lagos Metro instead of accepting 2018 versions as the uh, file type I'll click on this drop down I'll look for lower version like 2013 of which is lower than 2015 of Revit so I'll select this AutoCAD 2013 version and I'll say to save it asks me do I want to replace because the Lagos Metro DWG is already existing I'll say yes that's okay I don't need to bother myself just close it you can close everything about AutoCAD I want to save changes there's no need to save anything now I'll maximize my Revit which is this and I'll go back to insert then go to import card I'll locate my Lagos Metro again before I do that I have some few things here that we need to understand we have color you can preserve your color you can make it black and white or you can invert the color it simply tells you that um, uh, whichever color that is here if it's affecting the visibility here Revit automatically takes care of that so I can preserve the color layers and level all import unit auto detect of course if you're certain of the units that you use in drawing your AutoCAD all you just do is to select like I can select MM I may not use auto detect because I know my drawing was in MM meanwhile let me just maintain auto detect my position is also very essential we have varieties of position in here we have center to center auto we have origin to origin auto we have manual origin base point and center you can try any of these you want to best, best work for you but I can either use center to center or origin to origin you use origin to origin if the position of your drawing is snapping at that particular point of X and Y of your AutoCAD and that is why it's very important like if I should come back here let me just open this drawing back because it's so funny that most people using AutoCAD today does not even understand the essence of this XY coordinate I have to tell most people that have come across my video that when you are importing drawings or placing points you must understand that starting at that origin is very essential particularly if you are into visual design and urbanizations rendering you have a problem along the line at the end of the day even on this export and import of a thing so let me just maintain that point to point center to center if I say origin to origin as well and I'm going to discuss the reasons why that because if you look at origin to origin origin to origin in Revit is there's a straight line that cut across north to south and then west to east the midpoint of this all this is an is the origin in Revit not anywhere here here or here that particular point and that is where it's going to start my insertions because the origin of my AutoCAD it's it's here so that's where it's going to start my insertion so let me just come back here and say open and you see it's going to start my placement somewhere around here I'm very certain of that so a few moments for this to load into my Revit it's coming of course I expect it to load now because I've lowered the version and all those error message do not matter anymore that's cool you can see in fact it uses this line to let me understand the position you can see it starts from the origin and that is what I told you that origin is very essential in our drawing you can see this is a very huge project yes I expect to be as large as this I'm supposed to have controlled my scale yeah before placement but you can see that uh, let's look at the scale that's with this project it's the scale 1 by 100 that's not what we are dealing with for this class just to import the drawing and you can see I've just imported the drawing that's cool and because I preserve the color I can select the drawing and I can hit the delete key on my keyboard 
the drawing is a pin object we are not neglected that is to delete this object i need to unpin it look at somewhere already you can see that there is a pin icon that is preventing it from deleting i can either unpin it here or i can just click here on tiny heads here and i won't click on that it's unpinned now so if i click the delete key now it's gonna go you can see that trans zoom back to normal click on import again still maintain that same drawing this time i want to change it to black and white or i can invert the color now if i see it center to center open wait for some few moments for that to load mind you i use origin to origin in the first point now you can see that i've used center to center and you can see that it was positioned exactly at the center point just to pull the center point of autocad as well which of course large project like this is good for it so you can see now all my drawing are now in black and white and then i can start converting this 2d drawing to 3d it is very easy for us to do so that is that about this video class if you enjoyed this video class please just take a click and subscribe to our channel like this video more video like this is coming up on daily basis thanks for watching this video thanks this video is reaching from big book system thank you